Hi guys, welcome back to the Force Minds YouTube channel. Welcome back to an Andalusian adventure with Sevilla on Football Manager 2017. And today we start Season 2 of the series. And we're going to kick off with our first game in La Liga. It's a home game against Las Palmas, which sounds like it should be easy, but... You know, I'm, I have a habit of messing these things up, so we'll see how we do. Uh, also, we're going to go through pre-season. We're going to see who got signed and who got sold. Um, honestly, the transfer window didn't go as I'd planned. We didn't sell any big players, but we haven't really got any money to bring in players to improve the team. We can only really... Well, not squad players, but we can only really buy depth at the moment. We don't even have that. So, it's not gone as i planned, but there are... Still at 10 or so days left in the transfer window. So uh, let's have a look first of all at who has left the club. So uh, as you can see, our backup goalkeeper, David Soria, has gone to Lyon. We've got £2 million for him. Chrome Deli has retired. We unfortunately could not win him rounds. And uh, yeah, he is now retired. So that's one player we've lost that I really would like to have kept for at least one more year. He had a year left on his contract, but he's, just, he's decided to retire at the age of 34. Uh, a few players leaving on free transfers after their contract expired. Uh, Eugene Konoplyanka to Schalke for £10.25 million. That was already finalised before I'd even started playing because this is a January update. Uh, a couple of players leaving on freeze. Uh, one to Chelsea and one to Sigaviana. Uh, Ganso is going to start to Vigo. That was uh, decided before the 1st of July. So he, we got £8 million for him, which I think is okay. Uh, Joaquin Correa has gone to Nice. We've got £4.4 million for him. That could rise to 5 to 5 uh, Wissam Benyed has gone to Les Palmas for £6 million. Bit of a loss on him. I think Sevilla paid 7.5, but uh, he didn't work out for me. I only played a few games, and he didn't score a single goal, so uh, he's left. Uh, Gabriel Mercado has gone to Napoli for £3.8 million. Pounds. Um, Ivy, who's a young player from our B squad, has gone to Gijon for £1.4 million. Uh, Juan Munoz has gone on loan. I want to try and get him out of the club because uh, he's not going to develop. Same with Bernardo Cruz and uh, Cristoforo. Uh, we sent him out on loan just because I wanted to try and sell him to make some money. But we didn't get any full -time, any permanent offers. But we got uh, some loan offers and he's gone to Vallecano on loan. So in total, uh, we've made four signings. Uh, and we'll go through those now. We will start off with Luciano Vieto, who had a successful loan spell last season with us, scored 13 goals in La Liga, and I think he got uh, 21 in all competitions, which is uh, a good tally, and I'm happy with that. So we will be signed him permanently. Uh, he was on loan from Atletico Madrid, who paid 14.5. We've paid 16.5 million pounds for him. He's on 58,000 pounds a week, and uh, we know what he's like. We've seen him. We had him last season. And uh, I wanted him permanently. So the 23-year-old Argentine is now fully at Sevilla. Secondly, we bought a replacement for Krohn Deli. This is Josip Ilicic, the 29-year-old Slovenian. Can play as an attacking midfielder. Technically, very good. Lots of 14s and 15s. Uh, 16 long shots as well. So we'll see some goals from long range. He's good at penalties. He's got a good technique. Mentally, he's good. Physically, he's very balanced. So, um, yeah, this was uh, one of the first signings I made. And uh, we paid £4.5 million for him, which I think is good. You know, £4.5 million isn't that much looking at things. For a player like that, I think we paid uh, a sensible price uh, from Fiorentina. We needed backup for Mariano, and we've got that in the form of Matthew Debussy on loan from Arsenal for the season. Uh, players on the, on the right, wing back defend. Very good tackling. Mentally, he's very good. Physically, I'd like him to be a bit better, but he's 32, so um, you know those aren't going to be exactly very high, 32. But um, I think he can do a job, and him and Mariano will kind of rotate on that right-hand side because I think they can both do a job down there. And lastly, we have uh, Benoit Costille on a free transfer. He was a free agent. Uh, he last played for at Stade Rene. And uh, he was a free agent, and we needed a backup goalkeeper, so we brought him in. Uh, he's on £34,000 a week. He's 30. He's French. And, um, yeah, he looks decent, physically good, uh, good communication, reflexes are good, mentally he's okay. Um, so, yeah, you know, he was free, and we didn't have a lot of money to play with. So uh, I decided to look at free agents. I didn't want to loan a goalkeeper because I think the loaning team would expect him to be played every game. So I didn't want to loan a goalkeeper. So we had a look at free agents. And I've come out with a Benoit Costille. So that's who I've bought so far. 
And um, I'm not happy with what I've done so far, but unfortunately we just don't have enough money. I mean, the left of midfield, the only player we have is Vitolo that can play there like properly. So, uh, we, yeah, we're kind of lacking in options out wide. Other than that, I think we're okay. But, um, yeah, that's just the one place that I absolutely need to improve. But unfortunately, we have no transfer budget and we only have about £3,000 a week left. So... If we want to buy now, we have to sell. And we haven't got long left to do it. Honestly, the transfer window didn't go as I'd expected. Because I was expecting bids for some of our best players. You know, guys like Vitolo and Nzonzi. Who attracted interest from big clubs at the end of last season. Vitolo wanted by Man City. Uh, Steven Nzonzi wanted by Manchester United. As is Mariano. Uh, Rami is wanted by Roma. But none of these people have actually been subject to bids. The only person that has, Diego Gonzalez... Uh, we rejected that bid, and uh, he's since signed a new contract as well. So, uh, yeah, it's just not really gone as I'd expected. So, uh, pre-season, you'll be happy to know we were undefeated. Let's start off at the top. 1-1 uh, draw at home against Liverpool. Uh, I'll just, uh, for the record, I did not play any of these. These were all played by the assistant manager. I just picked the, uh, the uh, tactic beforehand and uh, sent him out, but the manager... The assistant manager took charge. So, uh, yeah, this is all he's doing. And thankfully, he didn't lose for us. Uh, we had a 1-1 one -one draw with Liverpool. Vitolo scored for us. And then Firmino scored for them. Uh, Schalke, we defeated them 3-2. Vieto scored. Uh, and then Vitolo scored. And then we went 3-0 up from an own goal. And then uh, Chupa Moting scored. And then Mbolo scored for Schalke. Almost brought it back level, but uh, couldn't quite get the job done. Uh, disappointing against Nice, the match stats, you know, we didn't have a lot of shots in this game, but we did get a draw. Uh, Bessetti scored for them just before half-time, and then Vieto scored just after half-time. Uh, and then we went to, uh, these are all against Portuguese opposition, so at least show us a uh, 4-0 win, Sarabia with a double, uh, Vieto, and then Carlos Fernandes at the end of the game. A young striker who I'm going to try and play a bit this season, I think he's got some potential about him. And so hopefully he can realise some of that potential this season. So uh, he's going to get some games, hopefully. 3-0 uh, win against Casetana. Vieto scored in the half hour. Uh, we had no goal just before half time. And then Vitolo converted a penalty at the end of the game. And then Felgueras, it was a 2-0 victory. Vieto getting a brace in the first half. So we've got Las Palmas in the first La Liga game today. We'll also show the Champions League group stage draw today. Last season, we won our group. But then we uh, fell victim to Monaco in the last 16. So I want to try and get a stage further this season and get at least to the quarterfinals. I don't know what we're expected to get to, actually. Let's have a look. So it's the same objectives as last season. Just get through our Champions League group and uh, get a top four finish. So this is the team that's going to play against Les Palmas. Sergio Rico will retain his place in goal. He was uh, had a very good season last year. One of the best goalkeepers in the league. I think he came in second place for that. And uh, he's going to play um, well, as much as he can this season. If it go does go out of form, then we will bring in Castile. And uh, at that point, whichever keeper is in form will play. But for now, Rico is going to play every game. Uh, the back four is uh, unchanged from last season. Mariano on the right. Uh, Rami, Pereja and Radu. I think it's our strongest back line. Carrizo is on the bench if we need him. Uh, Ibora playing as a defensive midfielder. We no longer have Cranvita because he was on loan. And um, and Zonzi can kind of play there. And we don't have Crondelli anymore. He's retired. So defensive midfield, I think it needs to be strengthened as well if we can. But it's hard because we have very little money. Uh, and Zonzi playing as the deep line playmaker. Montoya on the right, slightly deeper. Vitolo on the left as an inside forward. Uh, Franco Vazquez as an advanced playmaker. And uh, Luciano Vieto up top as a trucatista. Uh, Debushi and Ilicic can make their debuts today. We also have Jorge Carascal on the bench, who's a attacking midfielder. And uh, his attributes are going down a bit, but he's got a bit of potential about him as the 19-year-old Colombian. So, um, yeah, we're going to give him some bench, some time on the bench, see if we can play him a bit. Um, we'll see. And also, I mentioned Carlos Fernandez briefly. Uh, that's the sort of potential we're talking about. Um, he's got some good physicals mentally. He's okay. His determination's not great. I wonder if we can get him tutored, if he's not being tutored already. Uh, there is no suitable tutor. Great. Uh, as far as our mentality at the moment, we are on control and flexible. And uh, in terms of instructions, we're going to go fairly wide. We're clearing the ball to the flanks. We're hitting the early crosses. We're dribbling less. And we're staying on our feet. That's it for now. 
But um, I think going forward, we need to look to retain possession and uh, close down more sometimes as well. It depends on our opposition, of course. But um, those are the basic instructions we have for our team. And also, we sold out a season ticket. So um, despite the fact that we have no transfer budget, apparently we can afford a stadium expansion. So uh, that balance of £29 million is pretty quickly going to go into the red, I think. The expansion will increase the stadium capacity to a provisional capacity of 50,965. And uh, that will be completed in around a year's time, so not for a while. So having a look at the lineups then, let's have a look at Las Palmas team. They've got Cervantes, Pianas, or Planas rather, Bigas, Lemos, Michel, Vicente and Mesa, Tanner. Uh, Rain Adelaide on the left, is that the uh, Aloni from Arsenal? It is, Arsenal on loan. Uh, ben Yedder playing on the right-hand side. So, um, yeah, we're going to be facing Ben Yedder. If he scores, I'm going to be so annoyed, seeing as he didn't score a single goal for us. Uh, Araujo up top. Uh, I've also got Alan Halilovic on the bench, uh, on loan from Hamburg. Uh, we'll go for a calm team talk, and we'll do this for the fans. Um, okay, we'll try and improve this a bit. Have a bit of faith. That looks a bit better. And uh, hopefully we can start off with a good result here today. Vicente, Araujo, Tanner, uh, and the shot was poor. But there's Palmas with, um, well, it was a chance apparently. Pereira with a free kick here. And uh, did it, hit, it hit the woodwork, so uh, a decent chance for us there. As uh, the free kick hits the, uh, hits the bar. Why is our defender on free kicks though? I'm going to try and change that. Actually, to be fair, he's not bad at them. We'll leave it. Ibora passes to Luciano Vieto. And here is Vitolo back to Vieto. This is really good stuff. And now Vieto with a cross. And Vitolo's there. Vieto. Oh, we should have had a goal there. We had enough chances to put it in. I'm going to go standard. They've just had their first shot on target. Benyeda puts the uh, free kick in there. Here's Michel to Lemos. Now Vicente to Benyeda. And Benyeda with a shot. And it's a save by Rico. We need to have more of the ball in this game. Our passing's okay. It's just Las Palmas having a little bit more of the ball at the moment. Here is Araujo. Here's Ben Yedder. He's just scored. He's bloody scored. First game of the season, he gets his first goal. He didn't score all season for us last year. We didn't play him a lot, Frank, to be fair. Just because Vieto was doing better. But of course, his first game against us, he scores. That's just the way it happens, isn't it? That's just the way it is. It was uh, Araujo with the assist. Ben Yedder controls it with the right foot. And then shoots it into the far corner. And now we're on the back foot. And they've got possession. And uh, we're going to attack now. Um, we need to go assertive with this. And say show a bit of desire. They look motivated. That's fine. We're attacking now. And hopefully we can uh, come back in this game. Because I don't want to start this off with a, with a defeat really. I'm hoping from some performances from the wide players. Montoya so far not done too well. Because we don't have any wide players on the bench. Just because we don't have any we can use. So we need to hope that they do something. Because if they're going to have quiet games. I've got no one to replace them with. Oh that's a mistake there. Vieto is one on one. You've got to score. Easy. Mariano with the assist. But um, I mean the defender had a pretty ter terrible experience there. Bigas. Did not read the ball at all. And Vieto, one on one with the goalkeeper and a lovely finish. And that is 1 1, 64th minute. We're about halfway through the second half. Franco Vasquez has had an indifferent game. We're going to give Ilicic his debut. We're going to put him as advanced playmaker on support. His best role is attacking midfielder, but I don't have a lot of luck with that role, so we're going to play him as an AP. And let's see if we can get a win from this game. You know, come from behind and get a win, that would be good. Although the time has really run down since that goal. There's not been a lot of highlights at all today. 83 minutes. Um, what can we do? Right, we're going to put on Moreno for Vieto. And uh, Montoya's not done too well. But can we play anyone out, out wide? Not at all. So we could do, actually. We could play with three very narrow cameras. We bring on Carrascal. Oh, I've just had an idea. Let's, let's try this. If this works... I mean, there's only seven minutes left, but I've just had a really good idea. We've got a lot of cams, but not wide players. So maybe playing a 4-2-3-1 with narrow players 
Maybe that'll work. Moreno, that shot was well wide. Not even near the target. Full time, Sevilla won less Palmas 1, which is disappointing. We didn't win our first game. We're at home against the team we should have beaten. But given that we don't have a lot of wingers, maybe going with that 4 2 3 1 narrow, that could be a good idea. Okay, Mourinho was spotted in the crowd because he's a scouting at Mariano. How do you know he wasn't here to enjoy our terrific football? That's a lie. We didn't play terrific football. We drew to Las Palmas. Okay, so we've got a few days uh, until that group stage draw. I wonder what pot will be in this year. Are we going to be pot three again? I'm not quite sure. Okay, now off screen, we have got Real Madrid and Barcelona. Um, and, you know, I didn't know if I wanted to play those games or not. I was considering playing these two games before today's video and um, doing these ones in one. But I think that would have been a bit too long and I didn't want to skip the first two games. So, uh, you know, we'll probably face them one after the other later in the season. Uh, yeah, here in, um, well, end of January, start of February. So I think we will do those games later on, absolutely definitely, because they're our biggest rivals. The only two teams that finished above us last season. So... Uh, yeah, we'll definitely play those games. Okay, so for the Champions League group stage, we are in the second pot. So that is an improvement. We're going to be in pot two, which, which uh, in theory, would make our draw easier. But that's probably not going to happen, isn't it? Is it? So uh, what do we got? So the Champions League winners were Arsenal, strangely. So um, they get in the first pot, along with the other winners of the top seven leagues. Arsenal won the Premier League as well. What? What sort of game is this? So that means that the Ukrainian team get in. It used to be Dutch team, but it depends on who which which uh, leagues are in the top eight. It used to be the Netherlands. Apparently, it's changed to Ukraine here. So we've got Shakhtar Donetsk and Zenit St. Petersburg in the top pot. One of those would be the best ones, I think, called Dortmund. I don't want any of the other ones. Benfica might be all right. Let's see. So as we're in the Spanish uh, division... We can't go into Group A, so who we got? So we can't get in any of these, so let's see who we're going to get. So we don't have Shakhtar, we don't have Arsenal. We've got Benfica, that's okay. Benfica, I think, of those eight teams, is uh, one of the less difficult ones on paper. I mean, Zenit would have been better. Shakhtar can be difficult, it's a long way to go. So is Russia, though. I'm quite happy with Benfica, though. So uh, who, who can't we get here? Uh, we can get everybody here. So, uh, who have we got? We've got Basel, Roma, Galatasaray, Lyon, Olympiacos, Monaco, Liverpool, and Anderlecht. Who are we going to get? Okay, we don't have Lyon, Roma, or Anderlecht. I don't want Monaco. We don't have a good experience against them. Um, we drew with Liverpool in a friendly pre-season. I don't want Greece or Turkey. So, uh, give me Basel. No, we've got Monaco. Okay, so, uh, yeah. The team that knocked us out of the Champions League last season is in our group. And then from the fourth pot, uh, we can get any of these. We've got Mil Milan in pot four. Wow. Uh, Sparta Prague, Besiktas, Copenhagen, Southampton, Red Bull Salzburg, Feyenoord on Malmo. But uh, let's see who we're going to get. So uh, we haven't got Salzburg, Copenhagen or Milan. Um, do you know what? I don't really mind who I get here. Let's see. Uh, it's Besiktas. Benfica, Monaco and Besiktas. Um... Apart from Monaco, I'm happy with that group. I think we can get through that with um, little difficulty. You know, we might mess it up. I don't know. I'm quite happy with that group. I mean, Monaco is going to be difficult, you know, but I'd like a bit of revenge on them. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that group, I think. Okay, so that's changed it around a little bit in terms of who we're going to face when. So next episode, we are going to take on Elche in an away game, uh, promoted from the... Uh, Liga 2, whatever it's called. And then we will face Monaco in a Champions League away game. Hopefully get a bit of revenge on the French. And hopefully I will see you then. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a like down below. Leave any comments. And if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, hit subscribe. And I will see you next episode where we're going to have a Champions League game. And a game against newly promoted Elche. Thank you for watching. I will see you then. Goodbye.